Hi, my name is Vince, and today I'm going to teach you how to finish each painting you make with a coat of varnish. Welcome everyone. Let's take a look at some paintings that are finished but are unvarnished. It's hard to tell because the color still looks pretty good, but some of the areas are what we call sunken in in painting. So the darks aren't as rich as they used to look as when you applied the paint. And we really miss out when that beautiful color is missing because it's matte and it's no longer reading like it was when the paint was applied. This can happen for a number of reasons, but the best way to finish any oil painting is with a coat of varnish. It's like a unifying layer that you put over the top of the entire piece. All right, so I have my tack cloth here. Uh, the painting has been dried, it's dried to the touch with Gamvar. You want it to be dry to the touch, or if there's a really thick painting layer, if you put your nail in and it doesn't like give, you can apply Gamvar immediately. There's no waiting for months uh, for the painting to dry. So just take the tack cloth, and just remove any dust. I can already see a few things that came off. A little bit of the color will as well, but it's not damaging. It's hard to see, but there's just been just that little bit removed. It's gonna be something that's not gonna be in the layer of the varnish, so really helpful. Sometimes I do it a second time. All right, and we'll do the same on this piece too. All right, game var, and there's really nothing for it except to just give a nice little pour there. And you don't have to use a whole lot, but you can kind of just let that start working. Same on this one too. Already you can see the difference between where the varnish is and where the unvarnished layers are too. So I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna start spreading this out. No right or wrong way to do this, but you can see immediately the change. Look at those bricks. It's incredible. I've always said this, but varnishing is kind of like Christmas. It's like you're opening a present, you're painting again. It's just like, oh, oh yeah, that's what that looked like. I had forgotten. So varnish day is always a happy day. And I'll, I'll go, I'll do horizontal strokes, vertical strokes, and just continue to spread that bit that I poured out. One other cool thing about Gambar is you can use a brush. I wouldn't recommend it on these foam brushes. Um, let the, get as much varnish out of the bristles as you can. Let it dry and harden, and then just put that brush back into a little cup of Gamvar and it will reactivate. It's amazing. That brush will you know, absorb the Gamsol again and the bristles will be ready to be used again. It's a pretty incredible process. All right, let's go to this one. It's especially noticeable in the hair. You can see the difference with the richness of the hair versus this spot here before I just lay that in there and completely bring forth all of that rich oil color again. It is very satisfying. It's nice to have a couple of light sources around so that you can ensure that you have done the entire surface. So a lot of times I'll just lift this up, hold it up to the light so that I can kind of let that light uh, reflect off of the surface to ensure that I have adequate coverage everywhere. And then when that looks good, I'm happy with that. Same here. 
And already I can see two or three spots that I didn't quite cover by just holding it up to the light. Do that. Some people like to use the makeup sponge and um, I get that. I think it's just a little smoother. It's some, it's some areas that you really want to uh, get in there. If you have some bubbles, like if, I don't know if you can tell those, like I've got some little bubbles here. No nope, fear, those uh, will pop uh, and it will dry uh, evenly. But if you're scared and you want to be very careful with it, you, know, you can always take these makeup brushes and do a really smooth application. As you can see, some of the color has come off, um, and not to be afraid, uh, the paint is truly dry, but at the same time, um, you are putting a solvent back on top of your art. So it is gonna do what solvents do, start breaking down some of the surface, but it will also lock in, it will protect the work, and really lock in that color that uh, only oil has. Do the same on this one. As you can see, just a couple of minutes and it'll take your artwork from looking unfinished to finished. Those colors from dull to vibrant. It's the way to finish every piece you make so that you have the most amazing uh, artwork once it's framed and all done. So I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can subscribe, you can hang out. If you really want to make a difference in the channel, we also have a Patreon too. So thanks very much. God bless.